Unexpectedly, see what they say. Look at Tristan. What's the deal? What up, Josh? What's going on? None. Oh you like that? I came out of nowhere. Damn, you came uninvited, is what you did. <laughs> you like that? But the door's always open for you. Oh, yeah. I like this red, bro. Oh, yeah, this red's real nice. Like, this boy shine. Bro, the uh, AMG is getting this kit in LA. Oh, Don't worry. Yeah, you don't have any. Yeah, bro. Muscle. California, baby. But this red is like shining, dude. It looks so good. Gotta perform a nice paint correction on it. For real? Mm -hmm. Then it's gonna be all right. I don't know how it could get better, but it'll get better, but like. Look at this, dude. That, that color is really nice. What time is it? Nick, look, look. Hold on, focus. You like my watch? Oh See yeah. That? Whoa. Wait, hold on. That focus, day. Saint Squad, focus your eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all need glasses or what? Yeah, you like that? Look at that. It's stars. You like that? Yantian, look. You like this? You, you you like this? You like my watch? Yeah. Probably. You see you see how like the stars in it and stuff? You can't get that anywhere, you know that, I know, right? Josh, you, you got money, bro. <laughs> Whoa. No, they actually make those watches, like, affordable. They're really yeah, nice Yeah, you can really get them, too, you know what I'm saying? But, Martin, your turn. You like it? You like it? Yeah, how much? He's about to sell to me? Bro. Well, bro. as you guys see, this video is brought to you and sponsored to you by Paul Richgal. This thing freaking moves just like this. Like, the packaging is amazing, right? This packaging is amazing, and so now, and out of this, it slides right right out of here like this. Hit it, hit it. Actually, it's too nice, I don't wanna mess it up. So we just slide it out, you know what I'm saying? And boom, just like that. Freaking heat, dude, this is heat. And so now we have a box that the watch comes in and now the big unveiling is done, done, done. I don't think y'all ready. I don't think y'all ready because I wasn't even ready, but here he goes, right here. So disclaimer, I did wear it before as you've seen, so. It comes really nicely wrapped up. Like, you gotta take some time to unwrap it. That's how nice they treat it. So here goes my 42 millimeter frosted stardust silver watch right here, dude. This thing is freaking amazing. And the best part about these Paul Rich watches are- Hey Josh, what you doing? None, just stargazing, you know, regular stuff, you know. Stargazing? Dude, it's in the middle of the afternoon, a beautiful sunny day. How you stargazing? Mom, listen, listen, mom. When you have a paw rich, it doesn't say stardust for a reason. So even wherever you are, you just look at the wrist or you have a see-through roof, put your watch on the top, you can stargaze. It, it Literally, I haven't seen one watch do this before. So paw rich, top level. You looking at stars, stargazing. It's that simple. So daytime, look, chilling, stargazing, stars. Okay, makes sense now. And, and... If you get the frosted version too, like I have, I'm getting kind of blinded. Look like asteroids around the stars too. So. <laughs> so, all right, stargazing makes sense. It has the stardust in the face, which is this is the only watch that I've seen that actually has the stardust inside. And so now you look at this watch. It is made out of quartz instead of diamonds that make it give it like the little icy look. This is one of the first watches I ever seen where it has the stardust in the face, which is a big thing on why I decided to get it. So this is my 42 millimeter frosted stardust Paul Rich watch and it's really affordable too, but it'll even be more affordable if you go to the link in the description and you can use my code SaintSquad15 for 15% off discount. So if you wanna be sweet like this with a Paul Rich on, then you know what I'm saying? You, you already know what to do. Link in the description because this thing is hard and I'm not taking it off so you'll see it in almost every video. Like you've seen this one. Now let's get back into the video. Bro. Oh, Use for free, the code Saint Squat 15 get 15 percent off like that. You have no idea what just happened. It seemed like we were just talking one second ago, but Saint Squat seen it one minute ago. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, you have no it. idea what just happened. But, but like this is last week, low key. <laughs> but y'all make sure y'all go Saint Squat 15 link in the description to go cop. Finally, if y'all eyes are focused, there oh, almost had you. I almost had you. See, it got the stars in there, all that stuff. Saint Squad 15 to go top. Tristan's helping me out because this thing was freaking dirty. Filthy. <laughs> it was dirty. I I'm not going to cap. Yeah, we, we're going to cold start the Gallardo. Oh, 
Oh, I got that, I got that. Back bump for delete code, start. Because they make cars now that are cheaper that outperform these. Like yeah. the Corvette. I bet you could race this against the Corvette. Oh yeah, I'll demolish this. You'll yeah. probably beat it. So it's like, what's the point? Yeah. It's a Lambo now. It's always got to have that worth, but it's not going to be... They, it's like, it's be just more for your money nowadays. This, yeah. this car, you know? It's just a Lambo. If you want to just be seen in a Lambo, then I will give one of these. But It's a status. Yeah, it's a status type of thing. Now, if I was just down bad and I just needed a car to build, I would get this and wide body it because I actually seen some nice Gallardos when I was oh, in. Oh yeah, people make them look so yeah. modern. Just change out the headlights. Yeah, change the headlights to like stuff, and it's just nuts. Yeah, then it looks good. But like one stock like this, no, no thanks. I'll pass unless I get desperate one day. Yeah. And need like a random build. Twin turbo Gallardo strap in. Seen a Gallardo when I was at the uh, OC Cards and Coffee. It had like the smaller headlights and then it had the tail lights where this was off and it was just like right there hey this guy josh we have me on social media looking so thrusted hey, you like that <laughs> hey bro it's so funny to see myself look how look how stupid i look but i'm into it i'm real into nah, it right bro here. you look freaking professional bro like i am a professional look you now are I a professional the camera upside down paint correction come to mc whips Duh. huh Bro, it's only one room for one supercar, and I think this is the better one, so, sorry. Thank you, Tristan, for detailing the inside real quick. Well, vacuuming, and it smells good in here, too, so, detail. And after being up at MC Whips, literally, I would say all day, we are headed home. This tour. Do you see that on the wing? Not the wing, but the back. Look at this. Bro, look at that. Freaking way. So yo, I just pulled up to this meet right and we got Saint Squad right here. What's up man? What's the deal man? Shout this stuff out. Uh, Instagram, Aaron underscore AJ oh. underscore Clark. Snapchat, Aaron Clark 7952. You know what it is. I appreciate the support bro. Of course bro, I appreciate oh, yeah. you. Tomorrow. It is the next day type beat y'all, but you might see the same hoodie. Make sure you get your Legends Never Die Hellcat Red Eye hoodie. Link in the description, saintlifestyle.com because these drop and they're never going back in stock. So make sure you cop because one day in the future, you're going to be able to resell it for 10K, no cap. But anyways, y'all, right now, we are heading up to Vet Lab because I was sitting here, I was thinking like, what's, what else can I do to the vet? You know what I'm saying? And we were talking about twin turbos and stuff and I do want to do twin turbos still. Maybe. I don't know. I just got a new idea of it. Honestly, Ed literally DM'd me. It was like, when are we doing the twin turbos on there? So, I'm heading up to Vet Lab right now to talk about it, see what's the best approach for it, and maybe we'll do some twin turbos on the Vet to complete the build. Well, it wouldn't complete the build because then it'll go to MFR for a kit, but that's another thing for another video. So, we are on the way to Vet Lab right now and see what we can do to the vet because it, we the vet needs something else and, it, and i think it's about time we get those twin turbos on here well y'all we have made it to vet lab and you see the vet right here and we got a turbo right there so we're about to just see how it would look and everything my whole goal is, y'all, to have two turbos sticking out the hood, and then I want flames and everything, too. So we were thinking, the higher you mount them is, the easier the fab, right? Yep. So this would actually, I mean, we'd have to, like, cut the hood mm -hmm. out so that these stuck out, but also have it so that it fit good when it was closed. So, like, there wasn't just some big stupid hole in the hood, like, it would have to close around the turbo. Right. Yeah, this has like way more room than the other one. Right, we got a big fuel system on the other car. So. Yeah. So, like, something like I wouldn't be this high, right? It would be sticking halfway. Through. Yeah, probably sticking halfway. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Or even even the inlet somewhat in the hood, mm -hmm. and then we just cut out a spot for a filter as well. Mm -hmm. There'd be some fab work for sure, man. Yeah. Look good. Yeah, to, it'll look crazy. When you're shooting flames, it's gonna melt your down. <laughs> it'll be all right. It'll grow back. Yeah, yeah. And then a filter over here. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Some cold air. Cold side piping. Just make it all look mint. Yeah, like it look crazy. Like that. I don't know. Now that that would be hard too. I think I like the rear mount. Yeah, I think it I, like that. Yeah. Because some people try to stick it up under here where they tuck it and you can't see it but man i think if you displayed it yeah if i displayed it like this so half this thing off displayed it the tubing and stuff with the yeah. intakes in the back now that would be hard yeah, I agree. and that's something you haven't seen on the corvette yet no, either not that i see right just on the exotics like on the huracan and the r8 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I, I like that would be better. hard yeah i honestly do too you don't even have to pop those yeah, you, know? you just roll up, people see the back. Yeah. I honestly like that better, too. Because you talk about driving a supercar, right? Yeah. And that would like solidify that whole look. We could use pieces of that still. So you still have, you know, some of that in there. Somehow we would incorporate some of the closeout panel mm -hmm. so that it didn't look so raw like this. Right. But, yeah, man, I like that. Yeah, that would be... It might be, it might probably be easier, too. We're not cutting up the hood. We're just trimming that rear piece or maybe making a new one. Mm-hmm. That is true. And then, yeah, so like close up a little bit of the back right there. Yeah, so, yeah. like, use as much of this and then even maybe try to, to you know, put these uh, diffusers back mm -hmm. in somehow. But the open, then it would all be open. Maybe use just the top to trim it out. Mm -hmm. um, we'd have to find out. We'd have to put the license plate somewhere. Yeah, maybe. probably like underneath or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like even if you yeah, that would be sweet too. Yeah. I think that's the plan, man. Yeah, that should be the plan because that would be hard too. So, would you have to uh, make the whole exhaust too, like the? So I think the, the the stock exhaust is probably too big. Okay. So yeah. We have to make it smaller so that it actually spools the turbo. All right. Um, so I was thinking, could we add six exhaust tips? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, well, you can have as many as you want, but ultimately you got one big tip coming off here. Right. Yeah. That's out, and then typically they'll do off of the um, the wastegate. They'll do the smaller one. So there's at least four. But you can split this. You can do whatever you want. We can build whatever you want. That I was thinking because I was thinking we did that in the back. All this going to have them showing, and then probably like six. Or like the two big ones in the middle, then like the little ones around it or something. Right, yeah, two big ones in the middle, and then the little ones on either side. Yeah. And then like all cut on some sort of angle so that it look good. Yeah. I think that would be hard. Sorry, y'all. My freaking camera died, and my other battery was like messed up too. So I'm on the phone just to show y'all. But yeah, that would be hard. So instead of off the roof, two we would do the rear mount what do y'all think because i honestly like that idea better because it would just be hard to and it would be one of one on a corvette also so y'all comment down below and let me know but i think that's the move we do that and then we add like crazy exhaust tips because if that already asked for it, we add two more and it'll be probably like center in the middle instead of down there it'll be like more in the middle we'll figure out where the license plate goes in the future eh? You're not worried about that. We'll just ride with no plate. It's like, nah. But we'll, we'll figure that all out. But so far, I think I would like it rear mount more. I think that's the move for sure. Yeah. That, that's the move. One company that makes turbo C, if you have this turbo this way, mm -hmm. then this turbo this way, the output is down here, and now it's up here. That's kind of the problem. Mm -hmm. But there's um, there's uh, Nelson Racing Engines makes mirror image turbos. And I think maybe some other people do too. I don't know. I've never looked into it. But that way you can get this turbo to look the exact same mirror image over here. So they both exit on the bottom. Okay. Because it looks, it looks a little funky if you have this turbo like this. Mm -hmm. And then another turbo like this. Right. You can do it. But I think it would be better. To have mirror turbos. If we could do mirrors. If they're not available, then we, you know. Well, we just, yeah. We make it, we accentuate the fact that there's one down and one up. You don't try to hide it. 
Right. So you do something crazy where it comes out in, out in, so they end up in the same spot. We want it, we want it to be visible, but if you if you start coming out too far, then you have no room to actually have now the tip. Now looking over there, mm -hmm. are we going to keep that rear fascia? Are we going to cut it up? Are we going to make one? Or? Probably cut it up is my initial thought, is to kind of, you know, use it to trim this out. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Right, because it's raw. Yeah. Um, but, you know, worst case is if you can't use it or can't use a bunch of it, at least maybe use the side pieces. And like I said, the top the part piece. part that clips in and right. keep it trimmed out and looking good. And then like maybe some sort of rounded stainless steel or aluminum heat shielded area that we'd have to, you know, buy and fab, but um, to just showcase this. So this is all raw, right? It has a bumper, it has a bunch of fasteners. Get rid of all that, finish it all off um, in some sort of. If you were to put that turbo out here. I mean, you, there is room. I mean, if you got to tuck them in a little bit, like just inside of here, I mean, basically, you're not going to be going any bigger than this, right? Probably not initially. No. Um, so, filter, so exhaust. Yeah, you're down right there. This is exhaust. In. I mean, you, you've got room to even hang it right here, with, you know, four or five inches off the ground. Realistically, you're probably going to want to be somewhere right. I would, if it was my hair, I'd probably be tucking them right about here. Right, but that. Again, though, like I like what you were saying about you know the possibility of putting them out here because it displays them more. Yeah, I like I I would like them to be displayed how like the you know when you see the R eights and all that stuff. Okay. And so put them out. Down pipe. Actually, you know you you don't want it just a straight bend. You'd, we'd want it to like you know do something so it curves and comes out. And we can even go low because like I said, his wings out to here. Okay. And that's officially the back of the car. Mm -hmm. So I like that idea though, like out further, and then ha and then have the middle. Yeah, of the kind piping. of swoop it back for your. Yeah. Yeah, just have to figure out the orientation of how they're actually going to sit, which mm -hmm. makes sense with all the plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. So like the the inlet for the exhaust and the outlet for the turbo, the piping is going to be kind of small, so we kind of want to not really display that part, but the downpipe part, the piping's big. Okay. So that you know, and we can you know make some sort of statement with the with the pipes i mean you could you could you could do you could split this into two and do four you know in the middle pagani hyra style oh yeah that you know would be I mean? sweet something crazy start the ready oh. up <laughs> so y'all you see i'm off the phone i don't really like the phone so i'm not gonna talk too much until i get home to get to my charge batteries literally put this one on the charger it charged these batteries like if they sit, they just die on their own. And then this one was at like 40% that's in the camera. And then it just died randomly on its own. So I don't, I don't freaking know, but I'm not going to talk your heads off until I get back home. Shout out to Vet Lab again. They are the ones who tuned this. And y'all, y'all seen that? I'm going to just talk to y'all when I get back home because the camera is freaking ugly. It's good quality, but ugly and honestly unprofessional. Guess what I did, y'all? Instead of going straight to McDonald's, I went home to get my battery, then come to McDonald's so we can both get McDonald's together. Yay! So we can both be good. Thanks for watching. So listen to this order. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you? This is what you get. Can I get a medium fry with a six-piece nugget, no sauce, three chocolate chip cookies, and a large cherry icy? That is the same squat order at McDonald's. That's what we get at McDonald's, so uh, just let you know. And we got our McDonald's, so say ah. Uh, bro, what do you mean you don't eat McDonald's as nasty and fake food? Bro, what are you talking? I know you're starving. Say ah. Uh, bro, okay, I'll, I'll tell you this. If you eat the eat your piece of the fry, say squat, you know what I'm saying? Because there's some that's already ready to eat it, and we all eat together as a family because we say squat. So if you You'll, you'll be able to see the bet and do a pull, okay? You, I'll go fast. You want me to go fast? You want the bet to go fast? So here, say, I eat it. Thank you for behaving. Look where we are, y'all. It might be nighttime, but it, it doesn't fail. Four, one, dang, am I in Beverly Hills again or what? 
while we are getting gas in the vet, let's let's just talk about where we are going with the vet. I don't know, my original plan was to have the two turbos coming out the hood, shoot flames out the hood and everything. But DD has that on their Ferrari F12 and I don't want to seem like I'm copying and stuff. They got it. I'm going to leave it to them. So I'm going to do something that's one of one for the Corvette that you haven't seen. Like we were talking and explaining no diffuser and how the supercars have them like right there showing on display that is what we are going to do to the vet it is literally going to be a one of one thing so what i'm gonna need y'all to do is y'all see the hoodies they are still available saintlifestyle.com link in the description as well go cop a hoodie and help pay for the twin turbos on a vet but this is the beginning process for it as we are starting the finishing build on the vet which will be the twin turbos because i know y'all still want them and like i told y'all i was gonna do them before and i think some of y'all haven't forgot about doing it but let, let me see this this thing is completed anyway 44 dollars dude i was only like under a half tank and it was 44 dollars at 10 gallons like bro what the heck but anyways, y'all, so y'all better go support for the Twin Turbos. I'm really excited to start this, and this is the beginning processes where we start talk about where it's going to go, what turbos and everything, y'all. So next up is when we get the turbos. Goes in, gets installed and stuff, and it might take a little bit, might take testing and tuning because this is literally going to be the first time you'll see rear-mounted turbos on the Corvette like that. Like, of course, a lot of people Twin Turbo their Corvettes. They, people get Z06s and Twin Turbo them. You might as well get an LT1, dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But that that's that's just me. Are you excited for the vet to be twin turbo? And this thing is literally going to be insane. I can't wait for this view. But that is the business, man. Twin turbo process is finally starting. At first, we were going to do them through the hood. But now we're going to do rear mounted. How the supercars are. And I'm thinking, I want to do like six exhaust pipes. Like six. Literally, the turbo is a stick from like right here right there like the exhaust probably be like right there i want like say oh that junk is warm too i swear the vet shoot flames look you see how these two right ones are darker than the left it shoots flames but anyways right like six come out boom right there do this thing it look freaking hard and i'm giving out too much sauce but i don't care y'all I just have to share with y'all saying squad. So that is the goal and that is the plan. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go down and smash that like button and then subscribe and turn on post notifications. We are on the road to 300k subs, y'all. We are literally at 278, 279k subs. So we're about 20,000 away. We're gonna round up like that. You know what I'm saying? You do math, you round up like that. We are about 20,000 subscribers away from 300K. So let's get there, man. So go down and subscribe, turn on post notifications, share with your friends, because we on the road to 300K, man. And if you're excited for the twin turbos, you might as well smash that like button too. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. And I do have an update on the AMG. I'll probably show the picture in the next video. Yeah, that's why I'm going to get the real pictures. I just got a tiny picture. Uh, forget about that. I'm going to catch on the next one. Peace.